acknowledging him by the usual way. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lloyd. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, I just want to, again, before I say anything further, acknowledge why we're here tonight. Um, we're here because we want to make things better, because an incident has happened in the community which is truly tragic. Uh, one death in the community under such circumstances is one too many. And on behalf of Bedfordshire Police, I want to extend um, you know, my condolences and offer my respect to the family and all those who have been affected by this tragic incident. I think as we look forward, we really do see this as an opportunity to improve relationships, to build stronger partnerships, to actually look at really the root causes of what needs to be done and ensure that action stems from that. Luton has got a history, a recent history, of really good, deep, meaningful partnership working. And it works in a number of areas. We just haven't gelled it necessarily around some of the issues that really matter to us all in this room. And this is a golden opportunity where something has gone so very wrong to turn that into a positive and make sure that really good outcomes come. And I'm really committed to that. And when Lorna said to me, can you stand up in front of the room and explain your partnership pledge? Um, I was so happy to do that because partnership is my life. Partnership is so desperately important. Partnerships work. It's because individually we don't have the answers, but you come together, there will be an aspect, there will be some expertise, both at a strategic level and really, just as importantly, down on the, the, the shop floor, down on the front line with people who really know what's going on, that can inform that debate. We've got to get that mechanism working. What I would say is that we can't forget history. History is really important, and history frames the way we think today. And the organisation that I am really proud to serve in terms of Bedfordshire Police and UK Police PLC has not always been at the forefront of excellent community relations when you look through a very long history. But we've always striven to be so. And I think we've come on in leaps and bounds over recent years, really recognising some of the tragedies that came out of the murder of Stephen Lawrence and actually changing the way we think and the way we act as an organisation. And you do have a generation now of police leaders and police officers who by and large are totally committed. There are others, and there will always be in organisations, who don't always get to the level that we want them to get at in terms of service delivery. And where that happens, please come to us, please use this forum, please use these opportunities as a way in which we can deal with either underperformance or deal with issues around how we can better solve problems. Because that's the spirit that I'm bringing to the table and I want us to work in that way. If we don't know, we can't deal with it. There are some circumstances that are clearly current around the investigation into the, the death of Delaney. And I want to take this opportunity to really appeal to everybody in this room to say that if you are working with or you are able to speak to friends, relatives and colleagues to ensure that all of the information can come to the police with regard to that incident, it actually does come to us. There are people who are reticent, there are people who feel that there's a lack of trust, there's a lack of um, respect that's shown by the police in these circumstances. What I can say to you is that I've been actually shocked to the core by this incident uh, around the fact that we have got it, we've got an opportunity now to really deal and to bring some closure to the family and to build that trust and confidence in a way that, you know, a grieving family do get outcomes. And I'd just like to say, if anybody can come forward and give those inf that, that information to myself or my colleague, Detective Chief Inspector Steve Collin, we would love to hear from you. It is about problem solving, it's about long term. It is not about coming together tonight and actually leaving tonight and thinking, that was a good meeting, had a cup of coffee, reflected on a few things uh, and then went away. Because we've, we've, we've marched to the brink on a number of occasions in Luton and we've got very close to this relationship that, that's been talked about, that Hazel has outlined about a really true partnership way of working. And I don't want us to lose this opportunity. This could be a legacy. This could be something really good that comes out of, uh, of those circumstances. And, and I want us to work for it. And so you have my pledge, Lorna, and my organisation will definitely work and we will continue to put in the resources that are required.